everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today is Monday and we are on a secret mission. Uh, we're actually headed, you guys saw we left around 4 a.m. Uh, headed down 95 South towards Marion, South Carolina. About seven hours from my house. And uh, I'm gonna take a look at a new trailer. Um, it's, it's a used new trailer. Uh, they used the trailer once and I don't know what the story is. Either they got out of the business or I don't know. The trailer's only been used once and it's, uh, it was built in 2018. So it's sitting, but it is a, um, from the pictures I've been sent, it looks like a very good trailer. Um, and it is not even close to what I said I was going to get. So hear me out on that. Um, I don't know what all I'll tell you guys because I was presented an opportunity to do some different type of uh, transportation work, not just cars. So I um, I had been thinking about doing this for a while, and uh, we might make the move um, to, uh, to switching things up a little bit, which is good. It's progress. I'm, I'm very happy and thankful for it. But um, until anything's set in stone, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything. So uh, I'll show you guys the trailer. Though we are headed down there, we'll be there at like noonish. Uh, stopped once so far. We're in the Chevy. It's uh, oh, oh, oh. it is getting 18.4 miles to the gallon currently with no trailer behind it, and that's at 75 miles an hour. So. That is exactly why I brought the Chevy down to pick up this trailer, um, because it gets this fuel mileage. So, uh, hang in there, guys. We will be down there in a little bit. It won't be long for you, but uh, of course it's going to rain. But it does look clear um, as we keep going south. So I'd like to be able to crawl underneath of this thing and just really give everything a good once over. Excuse me before I uh, I commit to buy it. So. They're asking close to what they bought it for, and uh, I'm gonna lowball them because I drove seven hours for it with cash. I'm just gonna lowball them, and uh, seems like they're pretty uh, pretty willing to get rid of this trailer. Just want to you know want to get it off their hands. So we're gonna hit them with a low offer, and uh, once that's once it's done later in this video, I'll tell you guys what I actually paid for it. So stay tuned. I'll be down there in just a few hours. All right, well, we are 410 miles into the day, and we are at the bank. Unfortunately, we have to go through the drive-thru to make this withdrawal of cash, and it's kind of a pain in the butt because I have to sit here and wait in line, and then I uh, never really like going through the, uh, the drive-thru if I'm making a substantial withdrawal or a substantial deposit, so... We'll see what their policy is here, but hopefully I can get the cash. We'll see what happens, but I'm sure we'll probably be sitting here for their six cars. There's their three wide or two wide, three deep in front of me. So see how long this ends up taking. Well, we've made it to Marion, South Carolina. Headed down their street, which is a, a sand road. Down here at the end of the road, there should be a trailer that I'm looking to purchase. Wish me luck. All right, well, I guess it's time to hop out here and show you guys a new wagon. So what I'm gonna do, oh, my door's already open. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you, uh, I'm gonna do a walk around, probably hit you with the montage first, but then I'll probably, I'm gonna walk around and show you why I bought this trailer so you guys can better understand why I bought this trailer. So don't just click off because you saw the trailer. I'm going to explain why I bought this trailer because it's not anywhere close to what I said I was going to buy.
Oh guys, a little different from what I said I was gonna buy, right? Oh, just stepped in a hole. Anyways, let's get started. It's a 2018 Kaufman, as you saw. Regular gooseneck. It is heavy duty mesh. It's not the light stuff, it's the heavy duty. Uh, so it won't be dented or anything from heavy vehicles. Closed center, full width, I guess it's 96 inches wide, uh, full center all the way down. Let's try not to fall in this hole again. Tandem duels, three foot flip outs in the rear. Got a wire hanging out there. Anyways. Got aluminum ramps that are stored in the center uh, that hook into this tray back here. And that's gonna come and be, uh, become important. So I'll talk about that here in a minute. See the tray for the ramps all the way across. Flip outs are removable. Um, they're just bolted on each side. I mean, you'll still have this portion, but whatever you're hauling, if you need to take them off for some reason, it's fine. It's 44 foot long. So it's a, it's a monster, but it will be pulled with uh, the cabin chassis. So it'll be registered as a tractor. Um, start typing in the comments, but that's the trailer. So let me hop in the truck here. I'm gonna tell you why I bought this trailer. Let me put up the window. So it's quiet. All right, guys. So I bought this trailer um, because I'm trying to trying to diversify and I've really figured that I need to do that because of everything the coronavirus um, so I get a lot of calls about hauling freight I get a lot of calls about hauling equipment tractors I get calls about hauling vans that need over the tire straps so once I sold my 25 foot freight trailer or my flat deck trailer, I really started to realize how much I missed having a trailer. I could just throw skids on, I could throw, you know, wood, whatever, pallets, just anything without being a pain in the butt. With the open center trailer, um, I just, I, I was always constantly worried. I always had to ask customers, um, hey, how wide is the tractor? And I had to turn down a lot of work. Like, I couldn't even put a zero turn mower. Like, I got a call to haul 10 zero turn mowers one time. Um, and I couldn't do it because I didn't have that center is not wide enough. So I just started to get really frustrated and really frustrated time and time again about having to turn away work. Um, so, and I, I need, I know I needed, I wanted to haul at least three cars, um, which this trailer will do just fine. And I didn't want to buy two trailers because I didn't want to go somewhere and haul freight out and then, you know, not have a long enough trailer to make money on the way back, if that makes sense. Or I didn't want to haul cars and then there's a freight load that I'm going to have to turn down. So that's why I went with what I did. So like I said, the thing's 44, 44 foot long with three foot flip outs. I don't know what spec this is from Kaufman, but I've seen, the only one I've seen like it is the golf cart trailer, but that has single wheels. Uh, so I, I don't know, I asked for the spec sheet, she didn't have it. So uh, it's got 10K axles. Um, what I was, okay, the drip, the, the rail in the back, I call it the drip rail, but where the ramps hook in. So on my trailer, um, there was only slots on each side, of course, and then you have the open center. Well, you get to the point where you get things that aren't wide enough, um, and when you try to go up the ramps, the ramps start to fall in, it can get a little sketchy. So being able to have uh, that rail all the way across the back to hook the ramps in, if you have like a three-wheel tractor, you can have your two ramps for the back wheels and you can have one ramp in the center for um, for your center wheel. Uh, so just things like that. And uh, I wasn't really a fan. The, the over the tire strap things is a van deal. And I've been asked to haul them multiple times, but they have to be over the tire straps and the vans are modified. So they're very heavy and unstable, should I say. 
Um, some of them are conversion vans, some of them are high top vans, and I just didn't feel comfortable with putting those on um, on an EZ4. So I went with this trailer set up. Tell me what you think in the comments. I'm happy with my purchase. I got a good deal on it, um, and I'm happy with it so far. Tomorrow I'm gonna check everything out on it. I crawled under it there and took a look at everything. It's got oil bath axles. Um, so that's some people say that's bad. I say it's a plus, uh, but you know it is what it is. It's you know it's gonna cost you here, cost you there. But I'm happy that it has 10k axles, and uh, my capacity is gonna be higher. Of course, like I said, it's gonna be pulled with my cabin chassis, so I don't have to really worry about length walls or anything like that. So tell me what you think in the comments below. Um, it's a step in the right direction for me. I'm happy with my purchase, um, so I really don't care what anybody says but um, it's all gonna come down to how much money the trailer can make me. So leave a thumbs up on this video, drop a comment down below, and I'll see you guys on the next one.